This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Beautiful work today. You did awesome. Ah, yeah, yes, big punch. Yeah, that'll leave a bruise. That's it. Come on. Beautiful combination. Uh-huh, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Put the pressure on her. Let's go. Okay, okay. Good combination work. 30 seconds. Let's go. Great job in there. I can already see some improvement in your punches. All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Yes, keep that up. Oh, yeah, that's how champions train. That's it. Beautiful combination. Uh-huh, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Put the pressure on her. Let's go. 20 on the clock. Come on now. Great job in there. I can already see some improvement in your punches.
This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Beautiful combination. Uh-huh, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Put the pressure on her. Let's go. Beautiful combination. Yes, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Good work. Next set now. Yes, let's keep that up. You got 30 seconds. Let's go. All right, you had a little trouble today, but don't worry about it. We're going to get better. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Beautiful combination. Yes, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. That's it. Drill, drill, drill. Why? Because repetition is the mother of all skill. That's why. Let's go. 20 seconds left. Come on. Nice boxing. Yes. Nice boxing. Now, just keep building up that damage. Let me see that. Let's go. That's what I like to see. Good, clean, crisp punches.
All right, coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jujitsu. I don't want to kickbox and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Well, I'm not sure if she's a third degree or a fourth degree Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. All I know is that you are in imminent danger every time she closes the distance. Oh, the belt color hasn't changed, John, but they are <laughs> just adding stripe after stripe after stripe. <laughs> she's got so many stripes on her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt that it's unbelievable. And because of that ability to do Jiu-Jitsu at such a high level, it's almost like you're going into biology class whenever you go on the right. ground with her. Because as you're thinking... If I do step one to get to step two, she's already on step five. Right. She's working on the finish before you even understand that you're in danger. The, the quick strike ability in the jiu-jitsu is something not many people possess. I cheated to pass my biology final in college. <laughs> I wish there was a way to cheat in jiu-jitsu, <laughs> but she doesn't need to. Big spot for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, awesome. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of Three wins, no losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 130 pounds. Fighting out of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Yeah! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready to fight? All right, ready to go for round one. You know this division is wide open, but she's trying to close it, and she's doing everything in her power. She's won three in a row, trying to extend the winning streak to four here in the biggest fight of her career tonight. All right, stacked guard here, DC. She's got the feet on the hips if she wants to escape. Yeah, she's free. Going for the arm here. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. There it is. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. All right, full guard now, DC, she's on the bottom. Oh, looks like a guillotine attempt here for her. Watch guillotine. The submission's there. Get it. Nicely done. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Her that hit. one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, very nice job by her to turn those hips and really dig that foot into the lead leg. Dug it right into her opponent's thigh. Her opponent cannot take many more of these strikes. Y'all are just crazy for choosing this as, as a career. You can't just check those kicks. You better check those kicks. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Two minutes now to go in the round. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than attempting an arm bar here. Attack an arm bar. You gotta scramble. 
Oh, we're getting a finish here. Now she's in trouble. And that will do it. Unbelievable. What a performance. Yeah, no doubt about it. That is some opportunistic grappling right there. And nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you got to think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Yeah! Oh, well, there she is. A lot of people felt like this fight was destined to go the distance. She had other ideas. She said that if this fight went to the ground, it did not matter how good her opponent is. She was going to submit her. She did exactly that. She feels like she's levels above the rest of the game in the grappling. All right, some sweet science. Let's go. You work with your hands. She's starting to fall apart. Good, good, good. Beautiful work today. You did awesome. Good job. Nice work. Come on now, you got 30. Beautiful combination. Uh-huh, keep it up. 
Put the pressure on her. Put the pressure on her. Let's go. Great job in there. I can already see some improvement in your punches. Right, some sweet science. Let's go. Yes. Beautiful combination. Yes, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Nice form. That's what I like to see. All right, 30 seconds left. Nice work in there. Hey, don't worry about today. Tomorrow is going to be a lot better. Ready? Let's go. Set it up! Push! Push! Push!
You got to work in there. All right, great job. I need you to slow it down. All right, you ready? I want to see good technique and form this round. Keep working in there, okay? Let's go! Work! 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 Get in! Get in on that! Grind! 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 Pinpoint! Come on, kid, you got to make something happen in there. All right, you know we can get a little bit better. So that's what we're gonna do. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Great job! Listen, you keep training like that, and no one will catch you. Beautiful combination. Uh-huh, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Put the pressure on her. Let's go. Beautiful combination. Yes, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. 30 seconds.
Good, yes, I love those strikes. Nice combination there, let's go. That's what I like to see. Good, clean, crisp punches. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Nice! Keep going! Now I know... All right, some sweet science. Let's go! Nice, 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 nice punch. Yes, she felt that one, right? Okay. All right, you got to step up your training. This fight is coming soon. I like that. combination. Yes, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Thirty seconds. Let's go. Perfect. Nice. Hey, now we know what we have to work on, right? Don't worry about it. We'll get better. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. Well, I'm not sure if she's a third degree or a fourth degree Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. All I know is that you are in imminent danger every time she closes the distance. Oh, the belt color hasn't changed, John, but they are <laughs> just adding stripe after stripe after stripe. <laughs> she's got so many stripes on her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt that it's unbelievable. And because of that ability to do Jiu-Jitsu at such a high level, it's almost like you're going into biology class whenever you go on the right. ground with her. Because as you're thinking, 
if I do step one to get to step two, she's already on step five. Right. She's working on the finish before you even understand that you're in danger. The, the quick strike ability in the jujitsu is something not many people possess. I cheated to pass my biology final in college. <laughs> I wish there was a way to cheat in jujitsu, <laughs> but she doesn't need to. Big spot for her here tonight. Well, if she is not the best ground and pound fighter in the women's game today, give me another name, right? Because she has taken it to the next level. And more often than not, when she gets you down and starts throwing punches, referee's coming in shortly thereafter. The referee jumping in to save her opponents has almost become yeah, uh, synonymous with yeah, her fights. It's the way that her fights in. She's beating them so badly that the ref has to jump in and save them. We have not seen anyone so good at ground and pound since Tatiana Suarez first entered the UFC, and she has taken that to a whole nother level. Her ability to just control posture, control range, and land from anywhere from the top position is truly inspiring to watch. And not unlike you, she's got a mean streak. She told us in the oh. fighter meeting on Thursday, I'm about to give her some scars for life. So she's free nasty. souvenirs coming on the ground <laughs> if we get there tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of four wins, no losses. She stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 130 pounds. Fighting out of Kenosha, Wisconsin, Young. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 18 wins, seven losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lobby. You ready? You ready? All right, here she is, ready to go for round one, and now, undeniably, she is under the brightest spotlight of her UFC career. Why? Check out the footage of her last fight. Vicious win by submission, that to extend her winning streak and set up this high-profile opportunity tonight. She is one of the best submission practitioners. Oh, staying active in pursuit of the submission, now going for a leg. This might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. Now she's in full mount. Looks like she's trying to set up a sub here. Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Somehow stays in the fight. And this is where she's good. Once she's on top is where she's a beast. Oh, beautiful jab. She has certainly found the range with that weapon. And I guess when you have a reach advantage like this, might as well use it. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC. Finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. All right, so she goes for the double leg takedown here, DC, and she is submission attempt for her now. The problem with rolling leg lock in MMA, man, is you get beat up, especially if you're a little bit hurt. Oh, we're getting a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. And there it is. Tower. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly, she had an opening, and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career.
Well, she couldn't have drawn it up any better than that as she gets the win by submission tonight. Big win and an even bigger statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a heel hook. Yeah! Oh, well, there she is. A lot of people felt like this fight was destined to go the distance. She had other ideas. She said that if this fight went to the ground, it did not matter how good her opponent is. She was going to submit her. She did exactly that. She feels like she's levels above the rest of the game in the grappling. 